So let's talk about your Bach recording, the one that just released. Um, sure. I have to ask, why did you choose to record Bach? Uh, well, uh, I, just because I've been studying uh, the music that we play on the guitar, uh, the violin sonatas, the lute suites, cello suites, um, just from the time I was a kid, and and his the mu so the music after a while after a certain amount of time, it just there's a I don't know you just have your own sort of uh, a way to 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 communicate it, um, <clears throat> but yet in a way that I, I you know for recording I of course I tr I try not to be too much in the process you know you know in the sense that. You know, everybody, of course, has an individual musical personality, but I felt the time was right that that my that the things that that make up my sort of musical personality, if you will, uh, would not really be getting in the way so much of the of of box music. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the other reason is just that the you know Bach is by far, I think, the greatest composer. That we play on, the, that we can convincingly play on the guitar, that we can play a large body of his work on our instrument and um, in, in a convincing manner. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, of course, any it's always like the greatest, you know, piece, you know, on on any program I'm going to play. So I felt like the time was right uh, to to make a, a, a recording, which uh, to me really is just a snapshot in time. A documentation at that time of of sort of where you're at with uh, with any given piece of music that you're recording, and so I felt the time was right. Yeah. So it's it's titled Bach Volume One. When is Volume Two going to be out? <laughs> well, we have a couple uh, projects we'd actually like to release, uh, record and release around my tour schedule before Volume Two, um, and. Um, there, they could be something like collaborative collaborations, uh, you know, either a duo CD or maybe some like a chamber music with guitar, or, or even maybe another solo CD of something different from Bach, and then you know, and then maybe Volume Two. It's it's not uh, we, uh, Azika Records and I never had the intention of immediately following up Volume One with Volume Two. Yeah. So, are you planning on just recording? Um, the music that we usually play, like the cello suites and the violin stuff, or are you going to record anything else from Bach? Actually, I'm going to just re-record what I recorded on Volume One again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call, it'll, it'll be called it'll be called Volume Two Remix. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't that be cool if you could do that though? Like every every five years, there of course there'd be no market, not much of a marketplace for it. But like you, every five years you could just make the same CD over and, and then it's you know. It'd be very interesting yeah, to see the musical development where you're at. of it. <laughs> yeah, the development of, of, of things. Uh, but no, it'll be it'll be likely. Um, I, I, again, I, I, I there's there's so much to choose from, but I'm, I'm leaning toward violin works. You know, I'm, I'm leaning toward uh, violin uh, unaccompanied violin works for the second volume. That way, that way, if I play, if I put the fourth lute suite on it, then it would complete the lute work cycle, mm -hmm. uh, just within volume two, and then have a couple other violin works on it. But we're, it's again, it, we're not certain. It could be cello. It, we we just don't know yet. Yeah. So when you do all these recordings, so, um, do you maintain control over the outcome? Like, do you sit with the engineers and the producers and stuff like that and choose what pieces go in or what sections go in or? Actually, you know, with the the, the all Albanese CD, uh, Sevilla, and the Metheny, and also the Ponce, the complete Ponce sonatas, uh, the process generally was for uh, Alan Bice uh, to to make a first edit, and then I would go through and uh, with the score, with a clean score, and then mark things. That I heard that I wondered if they could be improved upon. We try to get, of course, as many takes as, of of everything as possible. Um, but uh, you know, so that's what the the editing process. You'd kind of do a first edit, a second edit, and then maybe a third edit. And so that was the process before. We kind of go back and forth because of uh, again because the concert season is getting really like 
long. I'm on, on the road most of the year. Um, I'm expanding, you know, my, my studio at CIM. They're getting tons of uh, production work. Uh, now, it's, it's becoming a challenge even just to set a date you know, way off in the future for a recording session, just to have a, a, a session. So Alan recommended that I come actually come come to Azika Studios for three for two or three days, and we actually both decide and agree on the edits for the for the CD. And I hadn't done that since my very first CD uh, in 1993, uh, which was a self you know self produced. Uh, Venture and, and was done uh, with Alan Bice actually when we were still students at CIM. Mm. 